This has got to be the biggest unboxing that I've ever done for my channel, and I am here for it. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Wolfpack. I am so excited to finally be back in the studio. Yes, I am finally home from the forest. Well, technically, when you saw that video, when I was in the forest, then I was already home because I had to edit here at home. But a couple of big things have happened since then, and I wanted to fill you in real quick before I dive into unboxing this entire stack of games and who knows what else is in here, honestly. So with that said, what has happened in the past maybe like two weeks since I've uploaded. It feels like it's been a really long time and here are two reasons why. First one is my computer pretty much burnt out and died. Nothing new if you've been following this channel. Uh, my troubles with computers and all that, I've had a Mac, I've had a PC, I've had them switch back and forth. But you know, uh, I'm finally switching back to Mac again because with the Mac Studio, things are a lot faster and I've been transitioning into that, finishing up all of the past commercials and stuff with the PC. And when I finished like the last export, honestly, it just full on flat out died. So it still can be recovered if I just upgrade a couple graphics cards and some other technical stuff there. If I get another chance down line to play around and experiment with PCs, then I will 100% do that. But right now, it is not time to dilly dally. We have a ton of things to get done and I don't have the opportunity to play around with a PC currently. Until then, I have upgraded to my Mac Studio and I'm doing a series of like gear updates for 2022. Please let me know in the comments below what you want to see. Like, do you want one designated video where I show you everything, like the top-down setup, the main camera angle, what I use for photography, for lifestyle shoots, or is it better for you and your experience? to have all these videos broken up, like versus one video with dedicated chapters, is it better to have them separate videos entirely? Like have one video dedicated for, this is what I use for lifestyle shoots and another one dedicated for, this is the designated top-down setup that I use for all of my reviews going forward. So let me know what you think in the comments below and depending on what everyone says, then I will go with that. Also, the second biggest reason why there's been this delay and lapse in videos, I still have one more Gen Con video uh, coming up, I still have to edit that vlog. The second reason for the laps in videos is because if any of you know who Sam Calder is, he is like one of my most biggest inspirations in the videography world. He creates like the most stunning cinematic stuff, like actually cinematic stuff that's like beyond um, imagine, imaginable. I watched one of his videos and I am easily converted now from switching over to Premiere Pro, which is the editing software that I currently use, onto DaVinci Resolve. So learning an entirely new editing program is a lot to take in, but that's what I've been doing for the past week or two because I feel the need to step up my game. I need to make my content better. And one way to do that is to finally get rid of the limitations that Premiere Pro puts onto me and my creative process and finally make that switch over to DaVinci Resolve. Plus I'm a huge fan of color grading and DaVinci Resolve is all about color grading. So that's why I'm making the huge switch on over to that. And actually the last reason, reason number three, why there's been this lapse in videos too. They're all tied together actually if you think about it because I can't make videos without having a computer. I can't make the things I want to without having the creative tools to make said things. And the last reason is because I finally caught up with all of my client work for the past two to three months, all the deadlines have finally been caught up to until this point. And then we have a whole new slew of projects going forward. So again, I want to be able to improve and constantly provide like an upgrade in quality. Can't do that until I learn Resolve proficiently. So with that said, we're finally caught up onto why there's been this lapse in videos. And I'm glad that you're all here, still hanging around. And um, I hope you are excited to see the content that I'm making going forward with this new upgrade, not only in my PC, but also in the editing software that I'm gonna be using too. Because finally, I'm hoping that I can bring my new ideas to life, to fruition with Resolve. So we'll see how that works out in the Terracotta Army review coming up, hopefully this week. But until then, let us open some boxes, shall we? This first one actually is not a surprise at all because it's literally labeled on the box. First package, the heaviest package, and one that you all know I am incredibly excited for ever since my top five from Gen Con video. Let me go ahead and be careful to not 
tear this apart as I'm opening this. Box number one is none other than, oh my God, look at this box. First off, thank you to Jamie and Bastion from Shadowborn Games for sending me this incredibly epic box of just pure goodness. If you haven't seen the Gen Con video, I'll link it right up here. You need to see it because I explain all my thoughts about it. And I am so seriously incredibly excited to dive into this game and make a full comprehensive review about it. If we can get some gameplay of this, that would be really fun. But for sure, a review is coming and this is going to be I'm gonna call it now, this is going to be one of the top 10 games of 2022 for me. All right, Oathsworn number one. Box number two. Oh, okay, so this is from CNYK Games. Huge thank you to Alex for sending me all of these. We're working on a slew of content for all of these games and it's going to be incredible. I like cannot wait, my team and I cannot wait to be working on this lifestyle and product shoot. So all of you will be seeing a slew of content, photos, videos, mini commercials, a ton of other things too being made for their line of games. And that's probably what majority of the boxes are from here. And I am so stoked to show you what I have envisioned for this project. Now, in case you don't know their games, you might know their titles, Taverns of Teventhal, it's one of them. They also have a really, really popular one, Quacks of Quetlinburg, including the expansion, the Herb Witches. They also have Monikers, Classics, Monikers, Serious Nonsense, more Monikers. They also have the Alchemist expansion for Quacks, Open Doors for Taverns. I'm breaking a sweat here opening these packages because A, we don't have AC up here and it is scorching hot in SoCal. And of course, the original box of Monikers as well. One of their dexterity games, actually this might be the first dexterity game that I have, but this one is the Fuzzies. Look at these little plushies though inside. I think this is the last box from CMYK, but this is actually how I knew of them. And that was because of Wavelength. Now you all know how I feel about this game. It was one of my top five party games. I've talked about this game a ton. One of my favorite party games till this date. Every single person I introduce Wavelength to has had a blast. This is such a good party game. If you're looking for party games, you can never go wrong with Wavelength. And lastly, a spinoff of Quacks, Quacks and Co. So once again, thank you so much to CMYK Games for sending me all these incredible games. I cannot wait to make content on every single one of these. The ideas that I have for just opening these are just like spinning my head. The songs and everything just to go with each one to pair with just are going to be wild. And I cannot wait to make content on these. This is currently my favorite guilty pleasure from Starbucks right now. They're strawberry acai lemonade. So good for summer. Oh, wait a minute. Are you wondering about the coaster I'm using? Check that out from Chip Theory Games. Oh, speaking of, actually we did get a package from them. Should we open that next? Okay. Now Chip Theory Games, of course, from Too Many Bones. I recently demoed Hippomachus Victorum over there at Gen Con. Also shouldn't be using a knife pointing directly towards me. But Chip Theory Games specifically mentioned that this is something that I should definitely filmed on camera. So that's why I am doing that today. What is this? It's like leather bound. Oh my God, wax seal. Okay, first off, we have this wax sealed envelope. And I think, oh my God, yes, yes. I was actually waiting for this, I'm not gonna lie. I was, um, I'll be honest, when I demoed this game, there was one thing I really, really wanted from that demo. It's this. I probably should read the scroll first. Let's do that. Let me hold on to that. You know, I know what it is. And let's open the scroll. I'm kind of like scared to break open this wax seal though. Wow, seriously, this is incredible. I don't think I've ever even held a scroll before in my entire life. Or like this old school parchment paper. Okay. To one of great importance, greetings from Chip Theory Games. As is our custom in CTG world, we've gone ahead and done something a little extreme. Impulsive over the top 
and patiently us. <laughs> Those adjectives that they use to describe them, I thought for a second was describing me because that's exactly what I am. Impulsive, over the top, uh, loyal to brand. An extreme, definitely me too. Inside this package, we've sent a customized thank you item along with a set of alloy dice. <laughs> that's what these are. <laughs> for Hoppamachus Victorum. While we know it's easy to view this as an attempt to curry favor in your upcoming coverage, we hope instead it's simply viewed as a sincere token of appreciation. Though Chip Theory has become known for outlandish overproduced titles, the truth is we remain a small company at heart, one that was helped out by countless people along the way. Without the support of the many who helped us out of the goodness of our hearts, uh, we wouldn't be in this position today. We recognize that board game consecration is often a thankless and low profit endeavor. Why did I feel that right here for a second? But it remains absolutely vital to the board game community. Consider this thank you a tangible recognition for all of the work that you do. Thank you for coverage of Chip Theory Games, Hoppamachus Victorum, and board games at large. You're appreciated even if it doesn't always feel that way. The included aloe dice will serve you well this October when you will receive a copy of Victorum and can embark on your own adventure to save the world from Pluto's scions. Team Chip Theory. That was a very unexpected and one of the most heartfelt letters that I've ever gotten from a publisher, even though it's probably sent to multiple consecrated, but still, the message behind that reigns true and uh, is really nice. Chip Theory Games, that was super nice of you and I really appreciate all the kind words behind that. So, with that said, like mentioned in the letter, this is the set of Aloe Dice to be used with Victorum coming out this October, which also was on my top five from Gen Con as well. And let me, wait, you didn't think I was just gonna do that with a top-down camera, did you? Let me give this the vital recognition it deserves. Oh, we all enjoyed that little snippet because I can't just, it wouldn't be on brand for this channel either to just unbox this with a top-down camera and call it a day. No, I had to do a lot more than that. Now, aside from these metal alloy dice, there's something else here which I actually have no idea what this... Wait, hold on. Is this my freaking logo on here? Oh, shoot. This is like so exciting. Wait, hold on. This is wild. So clearly this is a sword, dagger, or whatever the correct term for this blade of steel is. Oh my God. They engraved my channel logo on here. Like I cannot get over that. Like just look how thoughtful that is. And this is all like premium. This is like leather bound. This is something that I would carry around in like the medieval times. Like I will legit carry this around. What's the name for a short sword? So I can probably name this. Okay, I was kind of scared, but I don't think it's too sharp. And it's kind of dulled down, which is a good thing because I don't want it to be like a, an actual weapon. But this is incredible. Like the craftsmanship on this is just wild. Okay, so you know what that means. And let me go ahead and show you this little snippet with everything from Chip Theory combined. Chip Theory Games, thank you so much for these incredibly thoughtful gifts. Um, I am so excited to cover Victorum, to review it this October. I was already super excited for Victorum even before this, so this just amplifies that experience, not even gonna lie. But I also will still remain objective and true to the channel, um, as I've always been, as you might have seen from Burn Cycle. So with that said, I still cannot wait to cover Victorum. And once again, Chip Theory Games, thank you so much for sending me these incredible and thoughtful gifts. Okay, we have one, two, two packages left. Ooh, packaging with artwork like this, you know exactly who that's from. This is from Many Worlds Tavern. I did an entire coffee unboxing tasting video that you can check out linked here as well, but we met up over at Gen Con and they had a really nice get together for a bunch of creators. Just the smell of the box radiating outside, you know it's going to be freaking amazing. Here we have a bunch of amazing goodies. Homely house. Homely house. Great old one. Electric sheep. 
Dragon's Nest. And a really nice handwritten card from them as well, from Andrew, Chris, and Catherine. They were incredibly, incredibly nice people. If you are ever looking for coffee for your board game nights or just for, <laughs> just to enjoy in general, can't go wrong with them. They make some really delicious coffee, trust me. We've also got some more stickers, which are really nice and matted. And I just love like the quality of their art design and their like brand aesthetics in general. See me like a little card right here with Goblin, Electric Sheep. Their coffee even comes in its own individual box too on top of that. Opening this up and this is where the coffee itself is. So that, this smells like you're going to be rolling sixes on some D6s. <laughs> and there's a couple other things in here too. Oh my God, speaking of, speaking of actually a whole set of a dice, that's incredible. This is actually my first ever set. That I just bought some on Kickstarter the other day, which I'm excited for. They have like this ocean theme. Another card as well. This is like the same texture. If you ever played Wingspan, like the matted kind of linen type cards, that's exactly what this is. Really cool, love them. The team's amazing and they make some amazing things too, as you can see from like this crazy, amazing branding that I've shown you here. Once again, thank you, Andrew, Chris, and Catherine, and I will see you online. Let's see what's next, shall we? Okay, next up is from, oh, this is from Big Potato Games. The Great American Mail Race by USPS is a family board game all about delivering as much mail as you can, as fast as you can. To help you, we've given you every means of transport USPS has ever used from boats to planes and even a rocket. Have you got what it takes to deliver? Thank you, Big Potato, for sending this over. This is a game that I actually first found out from Twitter, all the Twitter posts. The Great American Mail Race. I was first interested in it because the theme is like so random, to be honest, like just delivering mail. But I like the little cars and stuff in here, so this should be an interesting be interesting review. Thank you Big Potato Games for sending me this to review. And onwards to the final package. What is this in here? First off, thank you Vlad from AG for sending me these two incredible games that I've heard so many things about. Um, if you are a content creator, I highly recommend you check out AEG's content creator program. They have like a, a startup package thing that you can all sign up for. I first found out about that program right before Gen Con, so definitely check it out and you know look through it and see if that's something that's up your alley. But first off, we have Point Salad, which I actually first heard of from James Hudson. He talked about this game a ton. And they also made a like a Pokemon version of it, which looks really, really cool too. But it'd be nice to dive into this first and know how the game works and all that before diving into the Pokemon version. Hopefully they have a translation for that uh, in English as well, because I know I think I think it's currently only out in Japan. And we also have Tiny Towns. So thank you AEG for sending me this starter kit. I am stoked to be diving into this game as well. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this unboxing video. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me as always and for sticking around through this little, um, you know, speed bumps that we always have in consecration from the broken PC to learning a new program and all that stuff. But don't worry, I have some really fun stuff planned Terracotta Army is next, followed by Gen Con, and I will see you all in those newly edited videos.